Hello again, it's now time for Mission. And Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. In our first story, he graduated with first class in Bachelor of Arts Education in English from the University of Cape Coast and is currently in his final year offering law as postgraduate program in the same university, living with visual impairment, Caruthers Tete is defending the rights of persons living with disability on campus. He's urging them to march off the disability queue to exercise their human rights. Can we have a big round of applause for Tete Caruthers? Caruthers Tete has for two years excelled at the UCC Law Faculty Dean Awards. The award scheme honors excellent students every academic year. The faculty is amazed at how Caritas defies all odds to make use of available resources to succeed. The brilliant student is an example of determination in legal studies. Well, I think he's going to open doors for other people with disability to be able to pursue uh, this profession so that uh, when they go out there, they can also champion the rights of the uh, disabled. Caritas is jovial, witty, and a compassionate student who sometimes makes jokes of his disability to get going. His classmates respond to him very well. They also make jokes. I remember there were a few times in class that I will hear him say, Oh, Mr. Ajman, um, I like you, the color of your socks. The Resource Center has a responsibility to support students with disability in their studies. This mandate the center has discharged excellently. However, students face a challenge. The use of Braille is gradually being phased out. And therefore, empowering visually impaired students to compete on the international front will mean more will have to be done. Caruthers, who is also the president of the Association of Persons with Disability at UCC, works to ensure persons with disability are catered for. Two months after assuming office, he, among other things, successfully led a campaign to bring ICT closer to students with disability an initiative that attracted government support to provide a laptop each to the members. Then I assume office as the president of the association a few months ago, to myself together with the executives, the patron and the centre, we realised there was a gap between persons with disabilities and ICT. So we took it upon ourselves to search for institutions, organisations who will come in and assist. Indeed, this is really going to augment the academic words of persons with disability. We are moving from the era of using Braille, and indeed the Braille sheets are extremely expensive. Caritas has a dream to ensure buildings on campus are disability friendly before he completes his tenure of office. No person with disability is a challenge. The challenge is created by the society and the systems we put in place. Now, for instance, if we build a story building and we make provision only for staircase, we don't make provision for um, I mean the lift or round, how do you expect the person with disability to accept that story building? You do that, you have created that challenge. Now, if you make alternative means, we can all move freely and independently without the assistance of anybody. The Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Joseph Apiagate, promised more support for persons with disability. I must say that the University of Cape Coast is disability friendly. You can see that many of our structures have existed long before we saw um, anything that could help you move up or down easily. But we have said that from now onwards, all the buildings that we are putting up we are putting in the lifts. The 2015 overall best graduating student with visual impairment at UCC has not contested for the position of an SRC president. But he has been a vibrant crusader for the NRO NAR student activism movement. And I have known Karuta since 2011 
where we read our first degree. And I remember he contested for SRC rep at um, ATL. He won and he became the SRC rep one. So at the law school in 2016, he... He became my study mate. When I contested for SRC president, um, he actually supported me in my studies. He made sure that despite the fact that I didn't really get the time to um, focus so much on my books, I was able to you know, catch up because I had a very reliable study mate. And he's really, really supportive and very friendly. Karitha Stater wants more attention paid to disability issues, especially employment. He suggested celebrating efforts of persons with disability should go beyond International Day of Persons with Disability. Caruthers also asks stakeholders in the entertainment industry to stop the ridiculous portrayal of disability in movies. The characters they think are great can also be given to persons with disabilities. So for instance, a person with disability can be a teacher, but you don't see that in our Ghanaian movies, some of them. You can have a person with disability as a lawyer, but you don't see them that in our movies. Yeah. So I believe that some of these roles can be done or can be acted, and it will help greatly to reduce the stigmatization. Caruthers, a native of Runeba, suffered his disability when he was injected with an allergic medication when he fell ill in his early teens and lost his sight in 2002. One immediate goal of Caruthers Tete is to gain admission into the Ghana School of Law and successfully pass out to be a professional lawyer to defend the rights of persons living with disability and regular people who, due to lack of finances, cannot afford the services of a lawyer. Spencer Kobnabuati Mensa, TV3 News, Cape Coast. Caruthers is indeed an inspiration, and that's it for Mission. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.